Welcome everyone back to another episode of Man Manga Boy Red Manga. Uh, you know, again, I did read manga this past week, and let me tell you, it was terrible. I never, almost never wanted to read manga again after reading this book in particular. Anyways, you know, um, if you guys are interested in joining a new Discord community, um, there is one that my friend was telling me he is trying to really kind of pick up make it nice and pristine so follow in um click the link in the uh, about me little comment section thingy um you know where it has a, a video description of the videos and there will be a link for discord if you're looking for a new discord channel check out that's all manga and anime they have like deals they have like announcements they have like all these bots doing things so that way they stay on the cutting edge of information so check it out if you're interested in that kind of a thing let's get on with the manga haul okay i'm done all right so we've got Ash Boy. i hated it I never am going to read the series again. I'm going to keep it on my shelf just for clout because I, I really did not like it. Um, but Astro Boy is one of those series where it has a lot of things that contradicts itself, you know, throughout the whole story. Um, you know, he has this much horsepower, that much horsepower. This character's dead, that character's dead. This character looks like an exact clone of that character, but the two aren't related. This is Astro Boy's origin. This is Astro Boy's origin. That's Astro Boy's origin. This is. You know, Marin's origin, and I know what you guys think. Marin's not even in Ash Boy, Boy, that's Dragon Ball. Well, let me tell you, if Urin wanted to be Marin and that was her origin story, it would be in here because that's how much, um, you know, Osama Tezuka remembers about Urin's origin story. He even admits it uh, in a few interviews saying that he completely forgot about Urin's origin story, so he just made another one up. Um, and it's pretty clear that that's not the only things he forgets when he writes these stories. But I will say the later on you get in the series, the better they are. Um, so I don't mean like later in the thing, I mean like later as in the year. But this was 1966, this was still a very good chapter uh, or series of events, Miva. Um, and then it, cover it continues on to Robot Bombs, if I remember right. But uh, yeah, really Miva is the main one here. No, it's just Miva, just kidding. <laughs> not Robot Bombs. Um, but yeah, Miva is pretty good. It continues off the story of, of the uh, Blue Knight, which is really a good story as well. Um, we have a few kind of stories from random time periods here. You can kind of see uh, where we have tons of text per usual. Um, Astro Boy is not one for the faint of heart, in my opinion. One of my favorite stories, though, is in this volume. It is called Astro's uh, First Love. It's on page 417. I'm just going to real quick spoil it for you here and you can see why it's one of my favorites pretty quickly i think um and i had to read this one check it twice because i like it so much so this is the title page uh astros in love first love 1969 okay so this is kind of later in tezuka's career and that's the entire story now i hope i didn't spoil too much for anyone now who's a astro boy purist but that's the whole story. <laughs> Anyways, I definitely do not recommend reading Astro Boy. Maybe just reading a few short stories that you find online um, based off of people's good reviews. Overall, do not read it. Only buy it for your collection, in my opinion. Um, Karate Survivor in Another World Volume 2. I was turned on the series by Manga Swap. He got me Volume 1 um, uh, through a convention on the uh, Manga Swap Christmas special. Uh, I do actually like this series a lot more after reading Volume 2. After Volume 1, I was like, eh, eh, you know, it's okay. Uh, but in Volume 2, we get a little bit more of the world building and the people in it as well. He gets a nice crew. You can see them all here. I thought this guy was going to be a total dick, but he ends up being pretty nice, actually. So that was pretty shocking. Um, our main character is still struggling with the fact that he does not really level up by killing monsters because he himself is a monster, supposedly. Um, and is only really able to level up off of uh, people, killing people. And so he's trying to struggle and deal with that, which has been an interesting thing. It's also nice to see how the world works, how the stats are kind of involved and how people know their levels and things like that. Dai Katana, Volume 4, Goblin Slayer. This was pretty anticlimactic, climatic, 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 um, but it is still something that I read. Um, there's definitely a lot of blood and gore in this volume, of course, uh, as it is Goblin Slayer. But most of it is just like dealing with, do we kill these people? Do we not kill these people? Are these people human? Are they monsters? Because they are sitting in the dungeon and they are just legitimately killing people um, who tried to jo journey in. Uh, so he, they wait for them to get kind of like tired and worn out. And then they go and kill them and take all their loot. 
but some of them have to stay there in order to um you know keep their spot under protection uh i'm assuming others must leave to go and uh you know sell stuff but it is found out that they are actually surviving by eating you know the the ventures that they kill in here which is pretty fucked up um and they were on a quest to go save a girl if you don't remember but it is strongly implied that that girl has been eaten by this group it's pretty messy pretty gross people stew uh Cromarty high school volume seven and eight this series is great hilarious stuff definitely recommend checking it out if you can get your hands on it or read it somewhere online uh we have a very long story of a gorilla whose dream is to make sushi. Uh, the gorilla also helps mend the sushi chef's uh, <laughs> relationship with his son um, by telling them, listen, I want to eat banana sushi, but not everybody's going to like banana sushi. Not everybody wants to become a sushi chef. You know, some people like something else. And so that's what the, the gorilla is able to teach the, the sushi master here. Um, he is a A1 sushi chef, which, which is, the one, I was dying laughing. And a lot of people are like, you know, hey, what's this grill doing at the bar? And then they're like, you know, eating the, the sushi the grill makes. Oh, surprisingly, the grill makes good sushi, you know? Mm, very good. And then the um, <laughs> the owner comes in. Wait a minute, why is there a gorilla at the sushi bar? And then they're like, what? You didn't hire this gorilla? And the grill's like... <laughs> so, so that was really great. Uh, we, <laughs> we have this nice little um, series going on in the next volume where Maida, Maida, Maida is trying different um, travel options to see which ones he can go on and not be sick. So he's finding out bikes are good. He finds out that driving in a taxi is good, but he has to be hanging out the window. Uh, we also get the Terminator. The Terminator shows up to kill somebody for some reason, but we are not quite getting there yet. But yeah, you can see Yamada taxi. He's hanging out in the taxi. He's doing okay. But then he has a taxi driver take a wide turn. <sighs> Ooh, too sharp. The other guy, he wrecks, which this guy's thinking like, why is this badass always trying to get me? He always comes in on a bicycle and just destroys me. And then he comes in on a taxi and out the window. Uh, so that was a really funny thing. Um, yeah, like there he is with his little basket and everything. I was dying. The mask Takanochi, he's wrestling with the fact that he wants to change his mask. <laughs> and people are like, wow, you're really mature, Mask Takanochi. It's like you're so much older than us, but here you are in high school. And like Mask Takanochi is like this grown ass adult. Oh my god. He is he's pretty funny. And then they even like mention like, where are all the teachers? I blame them for our issues. Because they're never here to supervise us, so that was also pretty funny that they acknowledge the fact that there's no, there's no teachers in this world. Um, so that's really funny. Ragnar Crimson, oh my god, volume 8. This series just goes absolutely off the fucking wall. So we are finishing up this big war arc. Sorry, my ears have been really poppy lately. Where, um, you know, Ragnar is fighting all these dragons in a big war with the Silver Rain Princess. And, um, you know, all of a sudden like they beat it and they're able to teleport out of there but in the last second he gets cut off by the wind dragon second seat the wind dragon second seat's destroying his ass and he just has to survive like 15 seconds and he barely makes it and then what happens once he gets out of there and like it's counting down like every millisecond it is like the most intense thing ever okay and what happens when he gets out of there well i don't want to spoil it but this this volume has tons of people dying Tons of arms and legs being flown off and slain. Dragons killed like nothing. I was loving this whole... I could not put it down. I read it in like a second. Oh man, I cannot wait to read the next one. Luckily, I already have it. Woo! <laughs> Mal volume 10. Definitely check out Ragnar Crimson if you're not. And you like sending or like just dumb action. Because it is, it is the toppest tier of action. Oh my god. Uh, Mao. This was actually very interesting. I know I've been kind of like eh, back and forth on Mal, but this volume I like quite a bit. Uh, we get deeper into the mystery of the um, of the main clan here. You know who is causing what issues in the house of Goku, and we also find out finally what we're going on with uh, for the main villains here. Our main villains, Hakube, Shirinue, and Irako, right now, uh, these three are planning to resurrect the house of Goku or Goku, I don't know how to actually say it, but the five elements. Um, and you know, our main characters do not want that because they found out that they were really messing around with curses quite a lot. And that is, you know, not preferred in this world. 
So they have to kind of work together to figure out what the goal is and how they're going to get around it. We don't quite know those answers yet, but it's nice to kind of see them deep dive. We find out that these, uh, you know, people who are trying to resurrect the house of Goku or Goku are, um, you know, they're, they're actually interacting with the current age civilians. And so they're getting them involved in the past incidents to kind of make them more disciples um, and get them more involved with cursing people and the darker arts. So that's kind of messed up. Don't toy with me, Miss Nagataro. I really enjoy the series. They get stuck in a shower together. Ooh la la. Oh my God. Oh my God. And then of course, you know, uh, she has to climb up and over the shower, Nagatoro does, in order to make sure her senpai does not get any look at those fine ass biddies. Anyways, um, we also have a, a nice little tour. We get on a school field trip. You know, they're gonna do deers and samurai and Buddha. Uh, so you can see there's Nagatoro riding a deer with the penguin behind her and her samurai swords. And they're going all in to check out all the stuff, which I thought was a really funny drawing. Um, but yeah, they go through, they accept on which uh, things they want to do. Nagatoro is found out to be being bullied, and of course, Senpai has to stand up for her, and it's a very touching scene. Nagatoro also mentions that she really wants her kiss, and that's why she's going to try her hardest in Judo. And I'm like, oh, and Senpai, still being the little bitch that he is, is like too afraid to kiss her or ask her out. Oh, I hope when she wins, she gets a kiss. That would just be so nice. Blue Lock Volume 5. We finally finished this fun, fun, fun filled tur match tournament thing. Um, you know, against Team V versus Team Z. And so, uh, you know, of course, our main characters are able to sweep by. And what do we find out? Everybody was actually, uh, you know, Team X, Y, V, W, whatever. They were always in the bottom five every single person and so in that case we don't really know what the rankings are and who's who um so that was an interesting twist and i was like oh that's such a good idea because now you know our characters actually could be better they could be worse you know who knows what's going on so we are very excited to see where blue lock is going from here because i really like their special moves and i really enjoy the twist that ego has and how he's just a fucking crazy person very interesting stuff Lastly, we have Adam Cat. Man, if you guys want to read anything Astro Boy related, I strongly recommend you pick Adam Cat. Pretty much this boy finds a stray cat uh, out in the junkyard. The stray cat misbehaves a lot um, in the house. And then the boy is supposed to go bring the stray cat out to the wilderness and abandon him um, per his parents. And I'm like, man, that is the saddest shit I've ever seen. Uh, but the boy and the cat on their way to abandon him get hit by a car. Thank God. The car is driven by, uh, by aliens and they rebuild the boy um, just fine and the cat is dead. So they have to totally rebuild the cat based on the boy's memory. And they make pretty much Astro Boy because the boy thinks the cat looks like Astro Boy. That's why he wanted to keep the cat. Um, and we get all these little things of Astro Boy, little clip bits here because the kid and his dad are big fans of Astro Boy. We get all these fun stories like between a cat, the Astro, Astro Cat is looking for his mom. The boy goes on a field trip and then they get uh, trapped. Well, it's not really a field trip. They go on like a boat ride and they get trapped. Astro Boy has his seven powers listed there. Then the cat must have seven powers too, they figure. Overall, a very good story. There's not much really of an ending, but it's still nonetheless a very good story. I definitely recommend checking out this story in lieu of Astro Boy. If you had a choice, do I want to read Astro Boy or Adam Cat? Pick Adam Cat every time. It is so much better than Astro Boy. Anyways, these are the manga volumes I read this week. Wow, look at that. Oh my God, snap a picture because that is perfection. Uh, so yes, I could definitely find better manga to read this week if I wanted to. But these series were so good and I'm so thankful, so thankful, so thankful, so happy. Astro Boy is done. This is the last volume of Astro Boy. Praise, praise Tezuka for only writing <laughs> this amount of Astro Boy. If there's any more, I don't know if I could take it. I would probably retire from making manga videos, maybe even reading manga, who knows, but it has certainly dragged me down in the mud. I really did not have a good time reading it. I almost killed my entire motivation to read manga ever again. So thank you so much for watching with me today, friends. I'll let you 
leave a comment down below give me a like let me know if you joined that discord server and if you don't join it's okay no hard feelings you know i'm not very active in it either i'm very bad with social media stuff uh youtube is just about as much as i can handle personally so we'll see you next time for another manga reading log bye bye